All right, today I'm gonna show you how to get 100% better audio out of your BMW G30. Um, this will work if you have the Hi-Fi system or the Harman Kardon system. If you have the Bowers and Wilkins system, this video is not for you. Um, so let's check it out. Let's go here. First thing I'm gonna show you is what my tone menu looks like now that I've coded this. So I do not have Bowers and Wilkins. I have the standard Hi-Fi speaker system. Um, but as you can see here, I have some different kind of tone profiles. Those don't, these don't really change anything just because you don't have the extra microphone that the premium system has, but the sound does sound different. The treble and the bass is more sensitive. The balance in the fader works a little more sensitive. Um, your volume settings, like your, your, uh, where is it? The, uh, I was trying to find the, uh navigation there it is navigation is not active navigation the navigation is volume is a little bit louder than it was before um yeah so basically all you need to do is go in bimmer code and code a couple of things and you're going to get a different kind of tone menu and also when you do your volume button uh hold on i don't think i have a source on here but let's like go to the radio or something Nobody insures so you can see I have the volume button that says Bowers and Wilkins. So that's just part of what happens when you code uh, what I'm about to show you. Um, this makes a big difference in the audio, guys. Like I have the standard hi-fi system, like I said, and the, it sounds like a different car. Like before when I would use the audio, I strictly would use Bluetooth audio because the CarPlay sounded super, super weak. It sounded like it had like zero bass behind it, which is very frustrating. Um, once I did this coating, uh, the seems like at a lower volume, it's a lot louder and it's a little more crisp and clean. So to me, this coating was definitely worth it. Um, basically coated in the Bowers and Wilkins tone profile. And, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that on Bimmer code right now. So let's go to the app. Okay. So we're here in Bimmer code. So the first thing you want to do when you go to Bimmer code is make sure that all your modules are green. Maybe it's hard to tell on the camera here, but they're all green. So we're gonna go into the head unit because we're coding your audio system. So now that we're here, we wanna go to expert mode, continue. And then basically what we're looking for is all the premium audio menus. So in my opinion, the easiest way to find it is to use the search box in the top right corner. Um, I'll just go up here and then type audio. And then search and then you'll see a couple of tabs here you'll see audio profile offset things like this what we're looking for is where it says high-end audio where it says high-end audio b and w and high-end audio menu so those are the ones that we're looking for just those two so what we want to do is go into them and they're going to be set to something else what you want to set it to is vol ints and you're basically enabling some different settings here so just go ahead and select that come back and then go in the high-end audio menu and again this is gonna give you a different tone profile and some different sound settings so set it to vol ints it'll be set to something else when you come in here just set it to vol ints for both of those menus and then back out and you would obviously code your car and then disconnect once you disconnect and then once you disconnect you're going to come back to your audio menu or your media menu excuse me and then make sure that your settings coded in properly and you should see some different tone profiles here um, and you should also see an expanded menu as far as as far as the options right here and it'll say bowers and wilkins it'll say bowers and wilkins when you do the volume button now and yeah this is definitely worth it the car sounds a lot better the audio system um sounds much more clear again i have the standard system i do not have a premium audio system in this car but it sounded pretty mediocre at first once i did this it sounds a lot lot better um so if you're thinking about doing this do it um i won't say this is a replacement for buying speakers but it'll hold you over in the meantime until you find a better solution uh for your system
Um, if you have the Harman Kardon system, the results are going to be a little bit more noticeable, a little better. Um, but even with the standard Hi-Fi system, this coating works great. Um, makes a big difference, especially in the CarPlay sound in particular. Um, sounds more clear, sounds more loud. Um, just makes the, your music more enjoyable. So that's it for this video. Um, on the next one, I'm going to show you how to open and close your trunk from the inside and, and how to enable that via Bimmer code coding. So see you on the next one.